Well, today, U.S. Senate candidate Dr. Raul Garcia started a new part of his journey to Seattle on foot to raise awareness for an, an issue that is very near to his heart and campaign. John Franklin takes us there. Today we walk so every step counts and honors every senseless death that we have had here in the state of Washington. Every long journey must begin with a single step, and Dr. Raul Garcia's journey began on Tuesday morning in the Yakima Canyon. You know, for the last six years, uh, I see overdoses in my emergency department every day. Garcia is walking from Ellensburg to Seattle for the next few days to raise awareness for fentanyl overdosing. Uh, this is the worst thing to happen to this country in my, in my memory. Congressman Dan Newhouse came to watch Garcia take his first step as he has close ties to this issue. One of the reasons I've gotten involved with this a couple of years ago, a local family reached out to me because in just over a year's time, they had lost two of their sons to fentanyl overdoses. Garcia also has a personal stake in this issue. We almost lost our own oldest son to fentanyl. And, and that, uh, as a parent now and as a physician, I could tell you that the urgency uh, the solution to this has to come now. Garcia hopes that this becomes a movement, not just in his travels, but across the country. This movement is bigger than my campaign for U.S. Senate, is bigger than anyone's uh, campaign, is bigger than being a Republican or a Democrat. Um, it's about unity in a crisis that is killing our communities. Reporting in Ellensburg for Action News, I'm John Franklin. Thanks so much, John, and Garcia's journey will take six days to complete, but he did complete a preliminary walk from Toppenish to Yakima last week.